mind if we shoot some of this, or we don't want to give away any secrets? Or anything? Uh, you can shoot whatever you want. Chris Mills, the head of Silver Shine Rock Lab. We are here in uh, the outskirts of Los Angeles at Silver Shamrock Lab, and we are watching our beautiful new skull analogs being created right here, right now. It's unbelievable. We have uh, folks just throwing them together and opening molds and just ripping them apart and making ballistics gel. These things are super dense, uh, and uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to, to go boom and pop and pow and all kinds of glory, bloody goodness all over the place. Ballistic shell right there, just a thin hey, coating. Yeah, this is colored ballistic shell, uh, okay. flesh colored. Okay, excellent. So that goes in first, and then you pour um, a larger amount, and then put the skull in. Is that how? Yeah, it works? I get a little layer in there first, so that we can get the skull put in evenly, and then you know, so it has a little bit of a barrier, and then once that hardens, we flip it upside down and pour the rest of the gel in. Spectacular. So, and this is um, this is called a negative. This is what they pour everything into after they make the mold originally of someone's face. No, this is not a bucket of rotten tauntaun guts. These, my friends, are blood-filled condoms that we put inside the skull, rather than Chris puts inside of the skulls, that really, really, really give the zombie that active, live-like boom factor that we just adore and really can't do without. This is what makes a zombie go boom. So this is an incredibly arduous process in order to create one of these things. Not only do they have to fully form the skulls themselves out of molds that they create from a sculpture, uh, they also have to do the exact same process when covering that skull with a ballistics gel mold. So what they do after they've formulated the skull and got it all packed full of blood and everything and with a spinal column, they will fill this mold that is the mold of someone's face. Uh, they will fill it full of ballistics gel, they will set the skull in, and they will, they will clamp the thing down and allow it to dry fully, which is a very long time, apparently. Uh, they will they'll clamp all these down so there's no leaking, and, uh, and that allows for like maximum sturdiness, and they, they clamp all the air bubbles out so it's, 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 it feels as real as possible. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I'm about to brush some of this ballistics gel into one of these face molds. Here we can put one over here where you have more room. Just, just knock Jen out of the way. She's not doing <laughs> anything. <anymore. laughs> all five of these? Um, we're doing six. Six, six total. Six. Yeah. So what I usually do is just pour a little on the face and then just it, it'll start to harden as you brush it up. And getting the ears and all that. Just a little bit in there. Yeah, but a good amount. Okay. I like some of the nose So yeah, you just gotta play with it. This is really hot because we just made it, so it's gonna take a few minutes to solidify. Mm -hmm. 